Hey, good morning. It's a Friday, day 46 of the journey that I'm documenting here. And it's evolving because the road to complete fitness is um, much bigger to me than just this fitness part. In fact, the fitness part is just a foundation because um, our physical fitness is vital to being able to grow something and to do something um, much more powerful. I'm gonna talk after the workout, at least that, that's the plan in the second part of this, about um, belief and versus knowing and we'll ask questions of what you believe, what I believe, how much of it is what we actually do believe and how much of it has been imparted into our into our brains to make it think seem as if we thought of these things ourselves. In fact, I'm starting to become more aware of that much of what people think is not necessarily what um, they really think. It's been in, it's been implanted in their brains from childhood to today and constantly. And now we have to get to a point where we are willing to question some of the things that we actually maybe everything that we believe and um, we'll also maybe touch on how we're going to end the debt with a dollar a day um, and how powerful this will be for those that will join I mean I was just thinking about it yesterday dollar a day a million people um, giving to help others 365 days that's 365 million dollars worth of debt eliminated it's pretty powerful see you guys after the workout hey back for post workout day 46 um, lots of sprints but good let's talk something a little more serious um, and Let's talk and let's talk about why we see such evil shit going on in the world and why we see things that just really don't make any sense. We all look at like government officials or from other countries, from from um, wherever, from gangs or, or whatever, and we say to ourselves, those people are evil and they are. But the vast majority of damage that's done in society is done by us, not them. I mean, ultimately, if we get to the issue with with debt and with inflation and those things, that really does kind of boil down to us and, and, and us doing the damage. Um, because we're the ones that take out the loans. We're the ones that drive... that, that um, drive ourselves in debt but anyway that's for another day i'm still looking a million people dollar a day 365 million dollars worth of debt eliminated in one year and it can actually be much bigger than that if more than a million people go but back to the topic at hand the topic at hand is we're running into the weekend we know that um we're gonna spend, a lot of people will spend more time watching television, especially as football season's coming up and more people are gonna be watching football games. I'm not knocking the football games, although I think those are actually a distraction from us doing greater things. And in fact, the athletes are probably the ones that can do the greater things because they're the most physically fit. But, and I was one, my kids are. So, um, but, the evil happens because repetitiously shit is put into our brains. From the time we were children, you, you go to almost any Christian today 
and and you say here in America, let's put it, let's preface with that, here in America, and you say something negative about the Pledge of Allegiance, the most stringent, the most staunch people that will ostracize you and yell at you and scream at you will often be the Christians who's in, in, in that religion Jesus Christ is the central figure and Jesus Christ said to not take oaths a pledge is an oath you can look it up just look it up and then on top of it his brother James says the same thing in the book of James so why would you as a Christian follow and get so caught up in saying the Pledge of Allegiance when your own God tells you not to do that? Because it was ingrained into your head from the time you were a toddler. Every day when I go into the gym, well, almost every day, during the, especially during the school week, they'll have on one of the channels the Daily Pledge. And it will show a group of kids saying the Pledge of Allegiance. And most people will get all goosebumps and say, oh, that is so great. What are they pledging allegiance to? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. First of all, it's a cloth. And to the republic. So you pledge allegiance to a government for which it stands. And I'm not going to say it under God because... Francis Bellamy, the guy who created the thing, didn't have under God in it, um, and he was a socialist. Look it up. It's not me. Socialist pastor. Flat out. That's what he was. So, but things have been put into our minds for so long repetitiously, and that's what I am trying to do each and every day is change the repetition that's going into my brain. When I'm in the gym, I no longer listen to things um, once I've listened to them strong enough or hard enough to hear the words of what's being said, if I don't like the words that are being said, if I think those things are things I don't want to do, I don't want them going into my subconscious so I don't play them. Even some of the motivational stuff that I do, I'm listening to them now, I'm going, those people are actually lying. So I may change that. But the gist of the matter is the evil people are the people we call evil that are in governments, that are and gangs or whatever those things might be those people yes they are evil but they're not doing the acts if you look at world war ii and you look at what happened after in, in germany and what was being done to the jews or whoever it might also might be it was not hitler that was doing most of the damage in fact he did very little of the damage it was his rule followers that did that they did the evil period so we have to understand that the powers that should not be have been in control of our education for over a hundred years. That's why we go to school in the manner in which we do for 12 years. We get up, we go into something we don't want to do. We suffer through that for eight hours. Then we hear a bell and they let us go home. And that whole time teaching us to become employees, workers, you should be offended when you're called worker. Workers of the world unite. So, but for workers, for them, through the media, and I got to cut this off because I'm going too long. The media is owned by the powers that shouldn't be. The, me the powers that shouldn't be control our education. The powers that shouldn't be control our freaking money supply. And that is the number one religion that's holding us back is money. And I will have people argue with me. I'll do it. I don't give a shit what you say. I have studied this, I have suffered, I have I have gone to the pit of hell on earth to a point where I wanted to die because I resisted going through this and being able to teach this to you. So if you don't agree with it, if you don't, I don't care. I don't care what you believe. What I'm seeking is the truth. On my driveway in 2009, in March, I said a prayer, God, all I want to know is the truth. All I want to know is the truth. And that has been, much of it has been revealed to me. 
a lot of the lies have been revealed to me. Um, but it's because I looked into it. I looked into the very core of things that I believe and said, is this true? Can I find proof of this to be true? So I know and I don't believe. But guys, repetition is the key. We have to repetitively control, we have to control the repetition that goes into our heads. If we do not control that, someone else will and you will be mind controlled. I will be mind controlled. And none of us, none of us are strong enough to fight against that if we plug it in our heads. See you tomorrow.